guys so today the training is going to be all about debugging we're going to learn how to use the Zynx SDK tool to debug our software okay uh, in the lab we're going to see a little bit with more details what you're going to do so let's let's start okay guys in the lab what we're going to learn we're going to learn how to create a simple breakpoint conditional breakpoints and how to use the XMD tool to save the content of the memory to a file okay what are simple breakpoints? As we've seen before, the Zynx SDK is going to allow you to mark parts of your source code that you want to say to the CPU that at this point stop and uh, allow me to run the program step by step. These are the simple breakpoints. Are just lines, part of the code that you say that up to that point stop and uh, let me analyze this, this code. Okay? Conditional breakpoints are as the simple breakpoints, but it allows you to add some conditional variable to stop. Basically, what you want to say is that if a variable reach a certain value, stop the program and let me analyze step by step what's going on. Okay? And the XMD2 is a kind of server that is going to attach to your memory and give you some features like uh, save the content of the memory to a file, uh, input certain uh, values into the memory and this kind of stuff, okay? The software that we're going to use today is going to be a DTMF decoder. It has been previously generated through MATLAB coder. We're going to see, by the way, how, is, how we're going to do this in next videos, okay? Okay, before we start, let's just take a look in the Simulink model of our DTMF decoder. The DTMF signal encodes digits of the telephone keyboard into frequencies. Then the algorithm just consists of uh, some buffers and some FFTs that are going to be used to see what is going on encoded in the spectrum domain. Here we just see the generated code. Uh, we don't need to pay too much attention to this now. We're going to show in the other playlist how to generate code for MATLAB. Okay, now on the Zynx SDK. Okay, to mark a simple breakpoint, just click twice, okay, on the left part of your source code and until you see a small blue dot, okay, this mark a breakpoint. Here, we just want to breakpoint there, okay. And uh, if we execute our program in the debug mode, the CPU will execute the code and uh, when it reaches that line, it's going to stop. Okay, here in the right you can see where the variables in the current context are located. If we do step in, we can uh, step into functions. If we do step over, we're going to step line by line in our source code. For instance, now we have the big advantage of debugging. You can see exactly what the code is doing. For instance, now we are just applying our filters. Okay, line by line we can see what the program is doing. Then uh, after the after applying the filters, we do an FFT, and uh, then we recognize which digit is is encoded there. Now, condition breakpoints. Let's see that, uh, for instance, imagine that we want to break our code if, the, the, if some variable reach a certain value. Okay, here, the DTMF digit, we're going to put a condition. If this, this variable is different than zero, stop at that particular point when, where the breakpoint is marked.
Now let's see a different feature. Imagine now that uh, we reach a certain point on, on our code and we want to validate, for instance, if a filter did his job or if the input of a signal is what you expect to be. Okay? In order to do this, you use the XMD console where you can, for instance, uh, read the content of the memory and save to a file. Here we sh just show you how to do that. Well, by the way, later we can create a script in MATLAB or we can try to use Excel to make sense of this data. For instance, if you want to plot this later or you want to compare with some previous test bench or stuff like that. So, guys, uh, these are the basic set of tools that we use to debug our software, which means uh, is the set of tools that we use to find bugs expect to see if the code is exactly doing what it's supposed to be okay the next video we are going to talk a little bit more about profiling which is going to help you to decide what uh, where to put parts in the FPGA or where to put parts in the ARM processor core okay see you guys in the next video and we're going to continue a little bit just to show a little bit more about uh, the XMD but consider it done